create a seam to run the football inside of him. Clement now, little pass option, back to the other side to four, and he hammers his way into the end zone. James Casey from Chase Clement. Well, this is a crossing route waiting for the big guy to come around. He finds a soft pot, a spot in the zone. Nobody covering him man-to-man -man at all. Zone covered. Clement now back to the field. Lots of time as he rolls to the right side. Airs it out to the end zone. And that ball is caught for a touchdown. Patrick Randolph. Described as the most improved player on this team. Down catch. He came to Rice as a cornerback, but enjoying the glory of those touchdown receptions. Here's Demyron Martin for SMU. And Martin taken down by Cameron Thompson. That was a loss of a yard. Clement, plenty of time to the end zone he goes. Dillard brings it home. Jared Dillard, touchdown. The dynamic duo, Chase Clement to Jared Dillard. They've done it time and time again. 33rd time they've connected. Well, a nice job by Rice. We saw this earlier. They moved Dillard away from McCann. Man-to-man -man coverage again. And he has Bell against him, and that's a matchup they can win. Dillard was side of the speed of receivers of Rice. Third and seven now for Clement. Clement, once again, able to get it to Smiter, and Smiter able to get into the end zone. Here he is to the air and to a very familiar target. Jared Dillard, they do it again. 34th time in the career of Dillard and Clement that they have hooked up for a touchdown. Oh, uh, yeah, he got inside, just ran a slant, and McCann, I think, who was covering him, I think he was complaining that he got picked. He's on the inside there. They're actually totally misread everything. I mean, they just gave him the inside. There was no pick. They just didn't figure it out as the PAT is up and good. They had mass confusion in the secondary about what to do. Haven't sent him packing yet. Pony still hanging around, but Clement is red hot. 35-20, Owls on freshman for SMU. Bo Levi Mitchell. Mitchell has time, airs it out downfield. That is picked off by Brandon King. And King has blockers in front of him. Running room tries to cut it back. Can he get to that outside edge? King still on his feet to the corner and into the end zone. Where are they marking that? No, they're saying just short. Just short. 54 yard return, but he needed the last six inches. What a nice job by Brandon King, a poor throw. He's sitting back in zone coverage. Now it's the final cut he makes to get to the outside that gets him close. He makes it right there, and that's the one that allows him to get to the corner. We'll talk more about that in a moment right now. Third and seven for Mitchell being pressured, and this ball picked off again. Andrew Sendejo, clear sailing. It started off as a dream night for the SMU offense, and it's turning into a nightmare. This is another quarterback error, user error. Bo Levi Mitchell, he'll get a little pressure here, and he just can't set his feet. He is throwing kind of off of one foot without really stepping into the throw and floats it beyond where he needs to get it as he was trying to find Zach. And he does just that. Jarrett Dillard. 35th time those two have connected in their career. Wow. That, that is just... That's easy. That's way too easy. Well, you know who was covering him was McCann. Yeah, well, I think this is all mental. This is all mental. McCann is too good of a player. He knows he's not supposed to allow him inside. A nice move by Dillard. McCann bites on it and goes up. McCann is supposed to protect the inside. He gives it away easily. 